One million people gathered at Kiev's Maidan Square and other central locations in the city in November 2013, outraged by President Yanukovych's decision to abandon a far-reaching accord with the European Union in favor of stronger ties with Russia. As the protests intensified, men, women, even children called for him to step down. President Yanukovych signed a contract with Russia, тим самим ще більше віддаливши Україну від вступу до Європейського Союзу. Проти Януковича. Він не дуже хороший президент. А як він здавав жінчину на моїх глазах, його берку? Як дівчат били, хлопці били, мене ще побили. The peaceful rally turned violent when Yanukovych's special police forces, called the Berkut, descended on unarmed civilians. Evgenia Finevsky kept on filming. At that particular moment, none of us was thinking about danger. All of us were thinking how to document every second and kind of preserve this history. Winter on fire exposes the police hitting people and shooting indiscriminately. Despite the bitter cold and thousands of casualties, protesters endured. Video medical, no, фактически со всей Украины, из Киева, из Львова, из Вильницы люди приезжали. Здесь вахтовым методом они просто приезжали. Afinevsky says he would not have been able to film these unraveling events without the help of social media and multimedia. I started to talk to the filmmakers, professionals and non-professionals who've been there, because every person who had some vision or who had some piece of equipment, and I had usage of DSLRs, camcorders, cell phones, GoPros, tablets, every possible technology was helpful for us. After 93 days of violence, the Yanukovych administration fell. A few days later, the Berkut was disbanded. The Ukrainian parliament cancelled anti-protest operations, restored the 2004 constitution, and freed political detainees. Evgenia Finevsky's documentary, Winter on Fire, presents yet another example of how civic unity and sacrifice can force political change. Penelope Pulu, VOA News. Washington.